Hello, in this video I'd like to talk about parallel vectors. Um, I was recently working on a few a few problems for fun uh, that, that involved parallel vectors and uh, it sort of occurred to me um, that, it, it would, uh, that, um, that they would uh, make for a um, good subject, uh, a good subject for discussion and um, you know I think a lot of people struggle with parallel vectors when uh, at least conceptually, uh, when they're first introduced to them, but they're they're they're, they're pretty easy once you know, you get the hang of it. And so, I'm just going to uh, think through one or two problems um, that I've extracted from uh, right from an A-level textbook. Actually, um, it's uh, Edexcel M1 uh, exercise 60 question. Uh, I believe it's question five, and um, we are told uh, that uh, given that a equals uh, given that a equals 2i 2i plus 5j and we are told that b equals 3i minus j 3i minus j and we are asked to find lambda this is actually part a of the question we are asked to find lambda if uh, find lambda if a plus lambda b is parallel is parallel um, para double l e l two vector i so let's just write two i right so the first thing that one wants to do here I mean I, I suppose the key intuition is that vectors are parallel if they have the same direction right I mean I suppose that goes without saying right you just think of two lines even right um, but more than that um, both components of one vector essentially must be in the same ratio to the corresponding components of the parallel vector. Uh, and so in understanding that, we can um, really just uh, logic through this. Um, so first, let's my, my first inclination would be just to write this out. So we know we have uh, a plus lambda b, so let's just write that. So we've got 2i, that's a, 2i plus 5j. And I won't skip any steps just to make everything very explicit. Uh, plus lambda b, so we can uh, say plus lambda times and what's b? b is 3i, oops, 3i minus j. Right, and uh, we can now just um, uh, uh, use the distributive property here, right? I'm just going to multiply across, multiply lambda across. So that will be the second line. So again, I'll just write all of this out. We have 2i plus 5j plus, and we're just going again, multiply lambda across. So what will that give us? That will give us 3 lambda. 3 lambda i minus lambda j. Right. Um, so next thing that we want, we want to do is just going to reorganize this a little bit. Um, in very simple terms, what we want to do is, is to collect our i our i terms and our j terms. Uh, maybe that's the most simple way to put it. So uh, what, are our, what, are our, our, uh, <laughs> what are our i terms? Well, um, we've got 2i here, don't we? And we've got um, 3 lambda i here. So, and it's positive, mind you. So we've got 3 lambda i plus. And we've got our j term. So we've got 5j, that's positive. And we've got a j term here, and it's uh, it's mi minus lambda negative. So minus lambda j. Um, and, uh, and, and, uh, yeah, and so uh, common factor, we can just factor out i from both uh, i here and, and then j here. And so actually, let's just do that for our third line. So I'm just going to erase this, and then we can just factor that out. So again, our i term, so that's 2 plus 3 lambda. And we're just going to pull the i out like that. And we've got plus uh, 5 minus for uh, lambda, and the j out. Uh, pull the j out, right? So, um, now, um, uh, we're told that a plus lambda b is parallel to i, right? It's, so, this is parallel to i. So, what we want to do is we want to take this 5, it's parallel to i, have to remember that. So, we want to take this 5 minus lambda here, um, boxed in magenta, so uh, highlighted in magenta, and uh, set that to equal zero. So five minus lambda equals zero. And from here on in, it's very simple to find lambda. 
which is the you know, purpose or the, the main to uh, goal here uh, and uh, that's just by basically adding lambda to both sides and you get lambda equals 5 so it's pretty straightforward um, uh, so let's do another one say we are using the um, same values for a and b that's to find mu uh, if mu uh, a plus b mu a plus b is parallel parallel and this time it's to, uh, parallel uh, oops, parallel with vector j para double l e l so parallel I'll just write to j instead of two vector j so we know it's vector j uh, and so again um, uh, first step really is just to focus on uh, uh, this bit of information right here we have mu a so we can just write mu times a we know a it's written up here it's 2i plus 5j and um, plus b got b which is 3i oops 3i minus j right and we just use the distributive property like so and we just multiply that out so let's do that and so we get 2 mu i plus 5 uh, mu j plus r vector b which is 3i minus j and um, now it's just the same step as last time we just want to collect our, our like terms like, um, for example so um, uh, our i terms uh, and uh, we can also just factor out the i as well so we've got 2 mu 2 mu plus uh, 3 i and then for our j terms we've got 5 mu 5 mu uh, and uh, minus j so we just write minus uh, 1 and j out here right because if you were to just multiply that back in we would get what we have here so okay and um, next thing that we want to do is we're told that uh, we would need to find mu if mu uh, a plus b is parallel to vector j parallel to j so we want to take 2 mu plus 3 uh, okay 2 mu plus 3 and we want to set that to equal 0 because it's parallel to j right so we're going to take 2 mu plus 3 set that to equal 0 and uh, and yeah, right now now from this point it's quite simple, right? Because we just subtract three from both sides. It's just very very simple algebra at this point. Uh, negative three, we divide by two right across both sides, and we get mu equals negative three over two. So I think I'll do a, quite a few more videos on vectors. I might even do some introductory videos, maybe some proofs and things, and and certainly um, some more advanced videos and stuff, but. Um, yeah, so this is just um, it's just a, a short little video I'm working with parallel vectors.